beautiful people. Where am I today? Well, as you can tell, it's a damp, chilly morning here in East Tennessee. Rained all night, still raining right now. But I love days like this. Must be that Scottish Irish blood that I discovered I have thanks to DNA test. Thought I was more German, but I'm more Scottish and Irish. So that leads me to where I'm at too. Kind of dovetail in here. I am hiking the John Muir Trail here along the side of the Hiawassee River. Some may wonder, so, I mean, you may have heard of John Muir, naturalist uh, from the 1800s, very well known for his time in the Sierras in California, where there's actually a more well-known John Muir Trail. But if you know John Muir's history, at one point in his early life, he walked from somewhere around Indianapolis to down to Florida. And at one point he came right through here. And in his journals about that trek he made, he talks pretty fondly of the Hiawassee. I don't know the exact quote, but you know, he, he was very taken with it. Um, and his descriptions match it pretty well. Uh, the rock formations that create the rapids and the ripples and everything. Um, and the sparkle in the water, kind of what he talks about. But not today. Actually, the water level is down quite a bit. So, anyway, hope you're having a beautiful day, wherever you are. Well, if I was to guess, they are running the generators. Because since I started walking up river here, the current has definitely increased. And luckily, this little bit of trail right here isn't underwater yet. This sure is a pretty spot right there. I think I'm gonna keep going now, see if I can find something else. So, I'm about two miles into the hike. 
kind of has me off away from the river right now. Walking through the woods, which is beautiful. I mean, like I say, right now, being January, all the leaves are off the trees, so you can just open it up a little better. Because this place could be a jungle in the summer. Okay, I think I found my spot. We'll be looking down towards that island right there. Um, I've painted it from, there's a vantage point up along, there's the forest service road that goes back to the powerhouse. There's a view up there looking down. This is looking down river and the bend goes around right there. And there's that island, I forget the name of the island right now. But, yeah, I think I'm going to sit up here. I had to walk back through the woods to this little marsh that it was just perfectly situated. So I had to take advantage of it. So today I am sacrificing this painting that I did at Casperson Beach in Florida a couple of years ago, I guess. Just, I don't know. I don't like it. So got me a piece of sandpaper here and you're going to sand her down. Okay, here we go. I've got it turned upside down, so I'm not liable to get trapped into repeating what was on that one. So, and here's my palette. Titanium white, CAD yellow light, alizarin crimson, and ultramarine blue. And this uh, selection of brushes, natural and synthetic flats. Some dirty old Gamsol mineral spirits, my trash bag, my backpack. I try to keep myself a small footprint and leave it as I found it once I'm done, other than taking home a painting of the spot. Okay, there's my start. Let's see what I can do. Okay, here we are with another painting of the Hiawassee. The view down towards Little Rock Island back there. It's been a really cool morning here with the fog and the clouds moving in and out. I'll try to get a view of it there for you. Six by eight oil on linen. Uh, I painted over an old painting, so as you saw earlier in the video, <laughs> sanded it off and painted over a beach painting from Florida. Now it's become a river painting in East Tennessee. Okay, I'm on my way back out to my Jeep and I'm gonna call this one over here. Ended up being about six miles. So after I did that painting, I went ahead and hiked on up the trail to the next trailhead and then I'm heading so out and back on this one. But it could continue on for another five or six miles to Coker Creek, but that's more than I wanted to do today. So, Hope you enjoy my little video here. 
Um, I know I did not show the painting process, and if that's something you'd be interested in, a more detailed look at how I paint. There are some videos that I've done in the past. I'm gonna try to get better at this. Um, I'm not a, you know, I'm 55. So I, I'm not a, as te technically savvy as the younger folks, but I'm trying. Um, so stay tuned to this channel as I document my adventures here in East Tennessee, here the, today along the Hiawassee River on the John Muir Trail. But I do paint everywhere in this Eastern Tennessee, North Carolina, North Georgia area. Um, if you ever wanna see some of my work in person, I do have a small gallery in Cleveland, Tennessee as part of the Art House Project in the old woolen mill near downtown Cleveland. I would love for you to stop by. I'm not always there. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not there a lot because I do work a full-time job and you know, gotta pay bills. And it keeps, keeps me fat and sassy so I can get out here and hike. Oh, and also you can visit my website, www.toddder.com. My paintings are available for purchase there. Um, for all original oil paintings. Um, most of them are plein air. That's how I prefer to work. There are some studio paintings, some still lives, that kind of thing. But uh, if you're looking to collect art that has a story behind it, every one of my paintings, like today, you know, this little six by eight that I just did, you know, it's, it's capturing what today was, January 6th, 2024 here on the Hiawassee River, a little moment in time. Um, to me, that stuff still it means something to me in this day and age of technology taking over. Okay, I'm gonna start, <laughs> don't wanna go into a diatribe here. Uh, I think we all understand. So once again, hope you enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for more. Oh yeah, I don't think I've actually ever formally introduced myself to my viewers. My name's Todd Durr. I'm an artist. I grew up in Southern Indiana. I joined the Air Force after a year of college. After the Air Force, I worked for a family heating and air conditioning business. And I decided I wanted to be an artist and did what you're not supposed to do, quit my day job. And it was kind of a bum for a while until I met my wonderful wife who saved me from living in a cardboard box under a bridge. And uh, now I'm blessed, two children, good life, able to get out here and paint. And I live here in the beautiful Appalachian, Appal I was gonna say Appalachian, but I live in Tennessee now, I gotta say Appalachian. I live in the Appalachian Mountains. Beautiful area. So blessed to be here. So, once again, I'm Todd Durr. Thanks for watching and tune in for more in the future as I paint the area around Southeast Tennessee.